Hey there, Libra. Welcome to your mid-May. May 15th through the 31st. Mid-month reading for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. I'm going to start off with a general. And then, as always, do a love reading for singles and couples. And it's just going to be a really quick energy read. So this is going to be like the shortened version of that. Okay, so... Thank you guys so much for all the love and support. I absolutely appreciate you guys so, so much. Thank you guys for all your comments, for liking, sharing, and subscribing. Let's get started. Remember, oops, I accidentally hit the camera here. Remember that the sign with the top three signs with the most views and the most likes will get an extended love reading for the next month. Okay, so here we go. Libra, sun, moon, rising sign. May 15th through the 31st, meditation brings answers. Are you confused about something? Are you starting to see signs about certain situations? Trying to figure out what things mean? Maybe some of you are getting roadblocks or getting weird dreams, messages. Things seem to be falling into, you know, a weird vibe lately is what I'm thinking. Um... You're not quite sure what it all means. It's almost as though you're getting a lot of signs here and there, no matter what it might be. You're still trying to decipher it. Also, for those of you trying to make decisions, trying to make changes, uh, moving forward with specific plans, I feel as though you feel very confident about moving forward on certain plans or making communication with someone or about something. However, it's the approach that you're trying to figure out. Perhaps you want to reach out to someone. Perhaps you want to talk to someone about something. Maybe, you know, it's about an idea at work. Maybe it's about a situation within the family. You want some clarity and you're not quite sure how to approach a person or approach the topic altogether. In which case, meditation brings answers. So here we go. Let's clarify that. I'm going to pull a couple cards for that. I'm going to use the Gilded Tarot. So here we go. Clarify. Meditation brings answers. For Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. General, May 15th through the 31st. Seven of Wands. King of Pentacles. Oh, five of wands. Give me one second. These just went flying out. A lot of cards here. A couple more cards here. Okay, another five. Five of swords. The Emperor. That's the Emperor. I know there's a glare. And let's see. Okay, I was going to pull one more. Give me a minute. Let's, let me make these fit. So this is about standing up for something that you believe in, not backing down. When push comes to shove, you don't give a shit if you're fighting with people or not. You feel so strongly about a specific situation. If this is at work, there is some pushback at work. For some of you, you're not getting along with people at work. You're at odds. Others of you, it's with family or in a partnership or relationship. You know, not all families are perfect. Not all families get along. Most of them, I believe, are dysfunctional. <laughs> Maybe it's a personal opinion, but with the shit going on nowadays, it's almost normal for people to have you know arguments and disagreements um, being at odds with family members this could be about a father or a father figure um, I do see an older man here whether it's a Capricorn or an Aries um, but I do feel as though this is about you know not getting along with other people and really Libra not giving a shit that you you're not getting along with them you're like over and done with and really the meditation brings answers that is there 
to provide you with answers to release yourself from the strife from the negativity, from the conflict, from the, you know, bad juju, the bad vibes, you know, the bad taste in your mouth that this disagreement or argument left you with. If this is, you know, at work, this is about, a, you know, a supervisor, a boss or a supervisor, you know, whether you're pushing back or maybe, you know, you feel like you're in between two different supervisors, like a manager and assistant manager, the manager or the CEO or a district manager. It's about two different levels, two different departments. And you feel like you're stuck in the middle, but at the same time, you're not backing down. You're not quite sure how to move forward. And really, you'd rather just say, man, fuck it. I don't even want to work here anymore. I don't even like this job. You know, and so I feel that so many of you maybe just don't know how to move forward. Others of you, if this is within family, you know, there are people that just don't agree with your lifestyle, with your beliefs. And to be honest with you, Libra, you really don't give a shit. Like, that's your answer. I don't give a shit. Right? I don't care what you think of me. I don't care what you say. I don't care how you stir the pot. I don't care because you might think that by talking shit or making me feel bad is you winning, but in reality, walking away from the negativity and walking away from the bullshit, that's winning because no matter what, I know me, I know the truth. And so what you have to say is pointless. It's pointless. You can think that you're in control of whatever outcome this is. But Libra, you're standing up for what you believe in. So when this Aries person or uh, Capricorn person comes in and tries to, you know, put their two cents in and then tries to stir the pot, they feel as though, you know, they're playing these games and they're, you know, controlling situations, especially if it has to do with family, uh, children, If this is a couple fighting over custody and visitation or you can't see them or they can't see you or yeah, see if this is about, you know, a divorce, there are things that you're not aware of that you haven't seen yet. That is also your card, the card of Libra and trying to figure out what's, you know, good and just and fair for you because you're tired of the bullshit. And so you're really at that point of like, you know, your drama, your negativity, it doesn't phase me. I'm going to find my own balance. I'm going to do what's fair and just for me. I don't care if you want to keep fighting. Keep fighting. Things are not going to change until you grow the fuck up. This need for control, whatever. Control whatever the hell you want in your mind. And that's really your attitude, Libra. You're just tired of other people's bullshit, of people coming in and starting drama and stirring the pot. And so it leaves, like I said, it's left you with a bad taste in your mouth. Oh, yeah, see? Seven of Swords. This is you thinking and overthinking situations that played out. People's deceptive behavior. People's shadiness. You know, this is someone who's two-faced, who's a front, who says, oh, here, let me help you with your inventory, but let me help myself to some of that too, right? This is a thief. This is a manipulative person. This is someone who really has no heart. They're sociopath, especially paired up with the emperor. It's about possessiveness, obsessive, unhealthy behaviors. And you've had it with people like that. You're cutting people out. The, where, and I don't even feel as though you're thinking about how do I cut these people out. No, you're done with them. That's the vibe I'm feeling. You're done with them. Fuck them. Right? So where the meditation brings answers, where that comes in, is because there's a healing process. There's a grieving process. When you lose someone who you thought was your friend at work or in your family or you were close to a family member who, 
you know, really ended up being this, you know, jackass of a seven of swords, right? Someone who doesn't give a shit that they've hurt you. It's like they hurt you and they're proud of it and they walked away almost bragging about it. When at some point you two were very tight, you two were very close. And so they leave you with this, what the fuck just happened? I can't believe this person would do that to me. Because they're in that seven of swords energy. But you've got that seven of wands energy where you say enough is enough. I will not allow that type of behavior in my environment. I have to protect my energy, my environment. No more. No more. It stops here. So your meditation brings answers is the answer to... How do I move on from this? How do I grieve? How do I, you know, move forward? Maybe they don't deserve my forgiveness. Maybe they don't deserve my time, my energy, my love after what they've done to me. But you, Libra, you deserve peace. You deserve happiness. You deserve joy. You deserve to get rid of that bad taste in your fucking mouth for what they did to you. Right? Am I right? So when you take the time to meditate, to connect with yourself, to say, you know what? I've given this person way too many chances. I can't work with them. I can't live with them. I can't talk to them. I can't be in the same room with them. Whatever your situation, Libra. But how you move forward without giving them the reaction that they are pushing for that's where your meditation comes in. That's where your answers come in. So take the time to really dig deep. And it might be painful when you allow all that shit to resurface. Because you try to push it to the side, right? You try to push it to the side like, you know, fuck them. I don't want to deal with that. It was their bad. And then you just move on. But when you don't deal with those energies, even if you don't want to deal with that person, that energy that they left you with, that bad taste in your mouth, that negativity, that, you know, seven of swords energy, that narcissistic manipulative energy, you know, they know what they're doing. They're trying to get a rise out of you. And so send them love, send them forgiveness, and send them the fuck on, onto their merry way. And say, you know what? No, you fucked up. Eventually you'll see it, you'll realize it. Also, Libra, remember this is a general reading. Maybe not all these messages will resonate with you. It also can go vice versa. If you'd like a personal reading, you know my contact info is in the information description box below, right? So if this isn't someone else that you've been dealing with Libra this could be someone that you did wrong and they're trying to find justice in the aftermath for the most part I feel that this deceptive behavior is what affected Libras so what is the resolution for Libra here what is the advice how do they move on from this how do they deal yeah see love love Start all over, start fresh. You don't have to start all over with them. You don't have to put yourself in that situation to give them an, another opportunity to hurt you, right? You already know they left you drowning in their mental bullshit, but from a distance. Forgive them. Send them love, send them healing, send them prayers so that they can awaken someday. And maybe someday they'll come back and ask for forgiveness. And by then, you'll be in a completely different energy. But you've got to love yourself first. Put the work into yourself. 
right? Especially if this is at work and people are taking advantage of you, overloading you. That's when you put up your boundaries. Libra, that is huge. You've got to put up boundaries. Do not allow them to take advantage of you, to throw on more that will affect you mentally, emotionally, physically. Stand up for what you believe in. Stand up for yourself. And do what's right for you. And that's how you move forward from here on out. Heal yourself. Whether or not this person knows what they did or that they did you wrong or that they're, you know, or that they've affected you in such a heavy way. Some of you haven't even realized just how much this person or these people's behavior has affected you. You'll soon find out because you can only keep certain emotions and feelings hidden and stuffed for a certain amount of time before they resurface and then you are forced to deal with it. That's when the universe steps in and says, no, it's time for you to face it. It's time for you to deal with it, right? Okay, so here we go. Love life, straight up single Libras. Straight up single Libras. Give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership, Libra. If you are single and just getting out of a relationship, maybe you have been single for some time. Maybe there's someone that you've been going back and forth with. Some of you need to give your relationship a chance. I'm not saying it's for all of you because it certainly doesn't feel like it is. But let's clarify. Give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. Clarify that for single Libras with the Strength card, Sign of Leo, the Hermit card, Virgo. Page of Swords, Libra. Yep, never mind my broken nails. <laughs> Eight of Cups. Moving on. The Empress card. Okay. Now I see it. The Hanged Man. Okay, so some of you, yes, give your relationship a chance. If you're single and pregnant, or you are, you know, single, but you have a baby daddy or a baby mama, right? You're trying to figure out how to be civil, how to be courteous, how to get along, how to communicate, how to set a good example for the children. I mean, some of you are, yeah, done, done. That's what this is about. You're co-parenting. That is what you need to give your relationship a chance about. If you have children or are pregnant, and you're like, fuck, no, I'm not getting back with that person, right? Work on your partnership. Doesn't necessarily mean you're getting back together and work things out. And that was the vibe I was getting. It was not for everyone to get back together with your ex. But it is about working on a partnership, co-parenting, being able to get along, being able to stand each other, to be in the same room. Eventually your kids will be in school if they're not already. What's going to happen at parent-teacher conference, at open house, at back to school night, at graduation? Give your relationship a chance. Maybe you become better friends than you were partners or lovers or, you know, whatever it was that your relationship was. And I'm telling you, it is going to take a great deal of strength. One of you is just going to have to be the more mature one to take that step forward. And maybe this ex has tried to do that 
and you've been shutting them down. You've been very withdrawn and you've just been wielding your, you know, your sword around like, get the fuck away from me. I don't want shit to do with you. Don't even come near me. And they walk away like, how in the world am I ever going to make this work? She is the mother of my children or I'm carrying their child, whatever it is, right? And this is about contemplating and trying to figure out a plan of action of how do we make this work? We've got, child, we've got children or we've got a child coming into this world. Some of you, <coughs> maybe you're not getting along with your mother or the mother of someone that you're interested in, right? So how do we make this work? What's the next step? What's the next step advice for single Libras? Oh yeah, yeah. This is something that has caused you some sleepless nights, worrisome nights. You, you, I feel as though you say, I wish I could make it work, but fuck them. You guys are being feisty. Feisty, feisty Libras. There you are again. Remember, this is the separate deck. Recurring cards, huge meaning. You know, I feel as though if you were in a situation where you felt that there was so much doubt and confusion, a lot of, you know, illusion about what your future was about, maybe they've promised you child support, alimony, maybe they've promised to never leave you, but now you're single. Maybe, you know, maybe you've made these promises about how you're going to move forward together, whether you're going to get back together, whether you're going to make this work. Maybe you did try to make it work and then it didn't last. So now you're just like, you know what? We were separated. It didn't work. Now we're going full on divorce. How do we divide these assets? How do we make it work with all these children? How do, you know, we figure out who pays what, who stays where? And this whole separation, divorce, about how you move forward and with the children involved. For some of you, it's fur babies, right? It's causing you some overwhelming stress. So approach it with new eyes, with fresh eyes. Approach it as a partnership. How you're going to make your life work knowing that you'll need to interact with this person probably for the rest of your life if you have children, right? Because at the end of the day, it's about your children. And your children do not want to see mommy and daddy or mommy and mommy or daddy and daddy not getting along. It will cause your kids to go within, to decline, to be upset, anxious, depressed. Some of you may be dealing with a child that is quite depressed. I feel that there's someone here who you're single because you packed up with your kids and walked away and moved away. This is causing, you know, some pain and strife within your family. So talk to your children, love them, be open with them. Allow them to be heard. When they feel as though they are acknowledged, that their opinion matters, that they are validated, that they're important, that you've taken the time to talk to them, love them, care for them, that their opinion matters, that their feelings matter. It puts things in a whole new light, a different perspective. And then you realize you may just have to approach that person and be like, look, and I'm going to say it from a Libra standpoint. <laughs> Look, it's bad enough I'm here talking to you. But what do you think we should do to make this work for the kids? Because I don't want them to see the anger I have for you. I don't want them to see the disappointment after everything that's happened or after everything you did or I'm sorry for what I did, whatever your case may be. But I do feel that there is someone here who straight up and left their partner, moved away. And now they've got a very depressed and anxious kid. 
while you're going through this divorce and separation. So get your kids some help. Talk to your kid and work on your partnership. Work on being civil with each other at minimum, you know, in front of the children, right? At the end of the day, holding on to anger and remorse and resentment, it does you no good. And it absolutely does no good to the child either or the children if you have more than one. So let's move on to the couples. Couples or maybe you in-betweeners, like I said. Maybe you're just getting out of a relationship and the singles reading and the couples both resonate. Here we go. Couples, Libra in relationships, dating, married, in-betweeners. May 15th through the 31st, Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus sign. Overall message, please. <laughs> Didn't I tell you? It, you in-betweeners, this applies to everyone here that has children or for babies, right? Your love life is being affected by children. So if that singles reading did resonate with you, like I said, give them some time, some love, some attention, hear them out. Be there for them, even if they push you away. That's okay if they push you away. Love them. Be there for them. Talk to them. Heal with them. Some of you, though, in couples that aren't about, um, you know, what the first spread was, this is about deciding whether or not it's time to have children. Whether or not it's time to have another child. Whether or not it's time to go from being a fur, fur parent, a little pet mommy, to actually having children. Some of you may actually um, be taking in someone else's children. So let's clarify. Libra couples, May 15th through the 31st. Libra couples with the card of children and that's temperance trying to figure out what your next step is trying to find balance slowing things down karmic cycles are closing the truth about a situation that does involve children oh wow what i just heard is someone just found out they got a love child somewhere someone's going to find out that they have a child somewhere or their partner finds out that they have another child that they didn't know about. Wow, okay, children in the picture. Temperance card. Your world is about to get shaken up. Things are moving forward in unexpected ways. Know that the universe is supporting you. They're here, the universe is here to enlighten you. This is a new chapter, a new phase in your life. For some of you, you find out you are pregnant or you are about to have babies. You are about to have a baby. I'm feeling that within the next, I'm going to say within the next month or two, you will conceive or you will be finding out that you are pregnant. And some of you are not prepared for that. Some of you maybe didn't think you could have any more children. Maybe you thought you were older and so you're not going to have children. And you're like, nah, that's not going to happen anymore. I'm done. The baby factory is closed. We're not doing this. We're not having that. But it, this universe is pushing you into a whole new cycle of your life. So if you've got grown kids and all of a sudden you find out you got a baby on the way or you just had a baby or you have a toddler, little ones, and you find out you got like a high school kid that you didn't even know about, that's happening for some people. And the relationship is going to, you know, need to be able to find some strength on how to be open to this new chapter of your life, being open to children coming in no matter what the age or if it's a pregnancy you're trying to figure out how to make it work you know if you approach it yeah see yeah someone here finds out that 
they didn't know they had a child or their partner finds out they didn't know they had a child. Some of you can't even afford another child and you're very, very stressed out about this. You're like, is it possible to even work more than I already fucking do? You're worried about burning yourself out, working too hard. You're trying to figure out how in the world it's going to be the death of me is what I'm hearing. Holy shit. A third kid. It's going to be the death of me. <laughs> I'm not ready. That's what I keep hearing. Okay. What's the advice? Advice for Libra. Advice for Libra couples. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Queen of Swords, whether that's you or someone else, you're about to, oh my God, if your partner came and said, I just found out I have a kid, you are not having it. That is the card of Aquarius. If you're dealing with an Aquarius, you are not having it. You feel as though you can't move forward, like you've been blindsided. You're like, how do I move on? with this knowledge, with this information? How do I move forward? How do I heal from it? Was this an affair? Was this, you know, before me? Like, what the fuck? How could they have kept this for so long? There's a lot of blue here, a need for healing, to be optimistic, finding light at the end of the tunnel once you take those blindfolds off. Because at the end of the day, this child comes into the world And you've got to offer it some love. I know you may be confused right now. You're trying to figure out, no, this can't be real. This can't be true. For some of you, it is. Okay. Oh, dear. For some of you, it absolutely is. I feel like I need to pull another card. Give me one second. Jeez. Let me get the, the other deck. Let me have one more message for Libra couples. Wow, you guys are freaking out about that child or the children coming in because every deck I pick up, the cards go flying. Give me a second. I got cards that flew out. Too many cards. Let's put them back in. Okay, here we go. Four of fire, four of wands, contentment, peace, and abundance. A happy home life, the successful completion of a project. So those of you that were trying to conceive, that were trying to have a baby, that is your successful completion. You find out you're pregnant, you're expecting. Maybe those of you that are trying to adopt, maybe some of you are taking custody of other people's children. Um, some of you find out, as I said, this is, you know, a shock and a surprise. King of air. Speak your mind with confidence. Seek out professional advice, balance, mental and emotional considerations. So this is obviously going to affect you. Those of you that are finding out the news that there was, you know, this child that nobody knew about. Maybe you or your partner missed out on raising this child. So it's time to speak your mind. If you feel like you've got the, you've got to be this queen of swords, cut a bitch queen that's going to like be ruthless and not give a fuck. Because I feel like, you know what, I think I'm going to name this reading. Libra's not giving a fuck, right? Say what you got to say. Say your piece and let it out into the universe and then don't look back. Then, you know, find a solution, make amends, heal, find, you know, the light at the end of the tunnel at the end of the day, take your blinders off and move on, move forward. It is not the child's fault. Okay. Wow. Big children messages here. 
child, children, family, babies. So good luck to you guys. This has been interesting. Libra, don't forget to hit the thumbs up. This is your May 15th through the 31st mid-month check-in. Thank you guys so much for all the love and support. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. And remember the top three signs with the most likes and most views will get an extended love reading in the following month. Okay, so there you have it, Libra. Take care. Bye.